In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the even root property to solve an equation like 2x plus 4 squared equals 36 for x. We know we want to get rid of this exponent of 2, and the opposite of squaring something is to take a square root of both sides. As we do this, square and square root are inverses. We're just left with the 2x plus 4 equals the square root of 36 is 6. However, because we got rid of an even exponent, we need two answers, plus or minus 6. Now, we can continue solving this equation by subtracting 4 from both sides. With this plus or minus, there's a lot of errors that come up. People combine terms incorrectly. So instead of combining at this point, we're just going to kind of generate a formula, if you will. So we're left with 2x on the left side, and then we're just going to write, whoops, 2x on the left side, and then we're going to write negative 4 plus or minus 6, writing it out as an equation. Finally, to get the x alone, we'll divide both sides by 2, and that gives us x equals negative 4 plus or minus 6 over 2. Now that x is alone, we're going to simplify this by taking it in the two directions that are intended by the plus or minus. One where we add the numerator together, and one where we subtract the numerators. Doing this, when we add negative 4 plus 6 is 2 over 2, and when we subtract, negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10 over 2. And then we can simplify those fractions to x is equal to 1 or negative 5, giving us our two solutions for x. So again, we cleared the square by taking a square root of both sides, which generated that plus or minus 6. Then, as we continued solving, we kept that plus or minus 6 in there until the x was all alone, so that we could add the numerator and subtract the numerator to give us our two solutions, which simplified to 1 and negative 5. Let's try another example. Let's try 6x minus 9 squared equals 45. Again, to get rid of the squared, we'll take a square root of both sides, because the opposite of square is square root, leaving us with 6x minus 9 on the left side. Getting rid of an even exponent, we have plus or minus. And we can simplify the 45. Not perfectly, but 45, you might notice, is 9 times 5, and 9 is 3 times 3. So we can pull a 3 out of the radical, and a 5 is left inside the radical. And then we can continue solving by adding 9 to both sides. Again, because of that plus or minus, we're just going to write this as an equation. 9 plus or minus 3 root 5. So 6x equals 9 plus or minus 3 root 5. And then we'll divide both sides by 6 to get the x alone. And x is equal to 9 plus or minus 3 root 5 over 6. Now, we need to be careful as we simplify this. We can't actually add and subtract the numerators together because they're not like terms. The 3 has a radical, the 9 does not. We also have to be careful that we can't just reduce the 9 over 6 and get 3 and 2, because we're only allowed to reduce factors, which are multiplied, not terms, which are added. So let's factor that numerator. There's a GCF in that numerator of 3. So if we factor out the 3, we're left with 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 6. And now that 3 is a factor. So now we can reduce the 3 and the 6, leaving 2 in the denominator. And we get our final answer of 3 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Can't simplify any more. This is our final solution. We get rid of even exponents with square roots using plus or minus, and then solve the remaining equation.